I just back from the trip. Woke up this morning and just uh, had a wild itch. Needed scratching. So I jumped on my Motusoniku and uh, headed for the hills. 270 miles on my motorcycle. I'm at about the 200 mile mark trying to do a kind of a circle. I hate to, you know, go out and then come back along the same route. You never want to do that. So if you're from Utah and you know the roads, I basically went from the south end of Utah, uh, Salt Lake Valley up I-15 at the 89 turnoff. 89's nice at Lagoon, all the way up to South Ogden there, and it's beautiful there. Never really gone through there much, past Weber State, down Harrison Boulevard, and then to uh, Highway 39 or Road 39, whatever it is, that canyon that winds up. The Almost probably 70% of the entire ride was purely scenic, mind-boggling beauty. Took that all the way over to Woodruff, which is almost Wyoming, and then down into Wyoming, down to Evanston, or as some Utahns call it, Evingston, for some reason. I kept going on 150 all the way down through Mirror Lake and Crystal Lake and all those campgrounds, and that's just beautiful. This is the Mirror Lake area. Um, campgrounds everywhere. And a uh, beautiful lake over there. You can kind of see over in that direction. I remember camping here once uh, 20 or so years ago with a group of uh, 14 and 15 year old boys, I think they were. A couple of other dudes. I hate camping. I like being outdoors. I love the smell. Whoa. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I had a big old furry flying critter on my arm there. I remember taking uh, packing up about four of them in my car and we drove into Evanston, Wyoming and watched um, opening night of Men in Black. Just thought I'd make it an interesting camp out for them. There was swimming, there was camping, there was marshmallows, there was food around a fire, and there was a cineplex with buttered popcorn. It's the kind of scout leader I am. This place is friggin' gorgeous. Friggity frig, man. And then ended in Camas where I had the opportunity of, of, of meeting briefly with my pal Adrian, who lives nearby. He's posing as if this were a still photo. He, he's from an older generation. Uh, so this, this captures moving pictures. This is moving pictures, and this is Camus, and there you saw it. And uh, Sir... And two stoplights, no one. Sir Adrian Gostick lives in Pioa, which is screamingly close to being Pia. Let's face it, I think we all know. All right, I'm heading home. I've done me time.